The final session of Zimbabwe's 7th Parliament opened this week with the passing of a new constitution right at the top of the agenda. The final session will bring to an end this parliament and it is the first under a historic coalition government which was created in 2009. Members of this parliament have been faulted for putting partisan and political needs ahead of national interests and that in turn has compromised the performance of the House as a whole. With the details, here is CCTV's Farai Mokotuya. Legislators debated the draft constitution on Wednesday ahead of a crucial vote on Thursday which requires a two-thirds majority for the charter to become Zimbabwe's supreme law. Because members of parliament are going through other processes, some have got challenges in their constituencies, some uh, might have gone out of the country on official business. You may find that uh, mastering that number might not be automatic. But however, I'm hopeful that uh, the members have heeded our calls as chief whips to attend parliament today. Other bills expected to be passed before the automatic dissolution of the House on June the 29th are the Income Tax Amendment Bill, the Zimbabwe Investment Authority Bill, Mines and Minerals Amendment Bill and amendments to the Diamond Act. The seventh parliament, whose tenure was started after a tripartite government of national unity in 2009, has been characterized by bitter wrangles as the three coalition partners battled for political ground. Critics argue this has hampered the effectiveness of the August House, a fact acknowledged by parliamentarians themselves when asked how this parliament has performed. Very sluggish, I must say. It did not really uh, do very well. It was a parliament uh, that always thought that tomorrow we are not there. Because you see, when we got into uh, this government of national unity, the, uh, it, it was foreseen like we were going to just be there for about two years. So there has always been clamoring for elections being held next month, next year, next month, next year. The passing into law of a new constitution, which took more than three years, is the lasting legacy of this parliament. Its performance has elicited mixed reactions, but the House of Assembly now has until June 29th to wrap up any outstanding business and pass outstanding bills of legislation. Key amongst these will be those that govern the elections, which are due later this year to elect new office bearers. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare.